Okay, so this is the Free Right Traveler. Uh, got it this week. Actually, I got it a couple of days ago. I, I think I was in the first 1,000 shipping, um, which I think they said I was because I didn't order any other um, accessories. So uh, I got it uh, Thursday. I got it Thursday and uh, now I'm turning it on for the first time. Um, just unpacked everything. It had this very nice cable, came in a nice box. Um, you do actually have to push the box through this way and it comes out the other side. Um, and let's see, it's booting up for the first time now. Um, in, and everything looks really amazing. Um, screen looks good um, it's the e-ink stuff it's time to begin so press new oh geez okay so i have to use both hands i'm holding the phone so let's see okay uh you're gonna see nothing for a second all right i pressed the new and new on either side of the keyboard starting up and i think that's it um let's see so I guess I can set up um, Wi-Fi and stuff. I'll do that later. But uh, let's see. Ooh, all right. So keys feel really nice. Keys feel really nice. Um, for a while, I was into the whole uh, mechanical keyboard thing. But uh, I found that for the most part, uh, there's too much resistance. Actually, um, they have that famous uh, IBM Model D keyboard that everybody raves about. That's like the buckling spring keyboard. Uh, I tried that and it's like, oh my gosh, the resistance is crazy. So I tend to like these um, laptop keyboards better. And this is definitely laptop style and all the keys feel really solid and nice. Um, one thing that I think most people are kind of concerned about is latency between button press and uh, when you get the letter appearing. And as you can see, there is a bit of it. So hit one, two, uh, it's basically a second. So hit, boom, hit, boom, hit, boom, hit, boom, hit, boom. So I mean, it's not, it, it's not an eternity, but it does take a little while. So, I mean, if you're a fast typist, you're probably going to be like, you know, a word ahead or something or more. Um, but, I mean, for me, generally, I don't, I mean, I can type fast, but when I'm actually composing, I probably don't actually type all that fast. So, this is fine. Um, one of the big selling points for me with a device like this is the fact that I don't have to uh, mine the battery. Um, one of the things that I really dislike about modern devices is that you kind of always have to um, babysit the battery. So the thing is, it can't, if you leave it plugged in for too long, that'll kill the battery because of heat. If you let it dissipate and it stays dissipated for too long, then that'll kill the battery. So everything has a tendency to kill lithium ion batteries. Um, <clears throat> But with a device like this, it's like basically I think standby time is like months or something like that. So um, yeah, so it's nice to just have a device that I don't actually have to think about maintaining when I'm not actually using. And when I'm ready to use, you know, I don't find that, oh, it's completely drained. Um, I can just, you know, pick it up and be confident that it actually still works uh, or it's, it's charged and ready to go. Um, let's see, other details, I don't know if you can tell, but this red button is metallic. It's like an aluminum thing as opposed to these other buttons, which are plastic. But that's a really nice, cool touch. Um, all the key caps look really good and nice. And yeah, I mean, everybody's been talking about how, you know, this is shiny and uh, that's going to pick up fingerprints. But yeah, I mean, that's what shiny things do. And uh, but in terms of the shininess, it, it's really nice. Build quality is, is good. Ooh, that's light. Hold on. Let's see. Open this back up again. 
Oh, actually, and the hinge is nice and firm. The hinge is nice and firm. This is about the most that it'll tilt. So that's 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 good, I think. Yeah, that, that'll work. And uh, what else? Oh, uh, it, this is a regular mouse. So this is about, you know, what the size is. So if you get an idea. But yeah, this is the Freewrite Traveler. I mean, unfortunately, it's such a niche product that, um, you know, they have to make the price as expensive as it is. I mean, the retail price, I think, is like $5.99. I would never be able to afford or, you know, I, I would not buy it at that price. Um, that's too much. But um, the Indiegogo price, I think, initially was three seventy nine, dollars And, you know, considering that this is like a way more stripped down device than um you know a laptop and you can get a laptop for 379 so unfortunately it is a, as expensive as it is because it is so niche you know they're not going to be selling as much or as many of these as ipads so you know if they did they could probably cut the price by a lot but you know it is this is like the definition of niche and um so yeah uh you know there are issues price being a big one but you know for what it is this looks really nice and uh, i look forward to i'm not sure if i'm going to try nano remo this year um uh that might be jumping into uh too deep a uh, waters right now but uh um yeah i'm definitely going to start my um writing in earnest with this that was that was the excuse for me buying it so we uh we shall see okay that's the free right traveler um hope this has been informative thanks